moving on to reports of skin rashes and COVID-19. So last week I talked about COVID toes, quote unquote, which is this strange rash that resembles frostbite where pink, reddish blotches appear on the toes and sometimes can turn purple. And these look like how the skin would react to an extreme cold exposure, like in frostbite. And there's, it's been cropping up in various patients with COVID-19. So they're looking into that more deeply now to see if this is a rash that appears in a lot of people or if it's pretty uncommon or if it's even related directly to the virus or if it's more of a generalized immune response in these individuals. But there have been other rashes reported among COVID-19 patients, including ones that look like speckly red bumps, just generally reddish skin, uh, hive-like rashes, blistering rashes, rashes with a strange lace-like pattern over them. So all sorts of manifestations of rashes. And other viral infections often cause rashes. Um, some are more distinct than others. So in measles, that rash is very distinct and helps people to catch the virus, um, diagnose it rather. But it's unclear at this point whether these, va or these rashes appearing in COVID-19 patients are number one, very common, uh, number two, whether they're caused by the virus directly infecting skin cells somehow, um, or if it's some sort of amplified immune response that manifests differently in different people, um, and whether there's any distinctive rash that would stand out as a COVID-19 associated rash. And at this point, it seems like there's a lot of variety, um, but they're studying these rashes more systematically now so they can try to answer some of these questions. Thank <laughs> you.